just tell me what people um, need to watch out for so that they don't get caught up in a scam like this. Uh, <clears throat> the main thing I would probably tell folks is if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. We, that's you know, a saying that's been going around for a long time. Um, you know, they'll try to call you and they want to give you something pretty much for nothing or for very little value. They might say, hey, if you send us this much money, let's say, for example, $500 in return, you might get $2,000. So a lot of, there's a lot, and I can't really tell you which scam or what companies they are, but there's a lot of people that, that are willing to take that chance and say, well, I might have $200 or $300 around and an opportunity to make, you know, three, four times like the money that I'm getting ready to spend. So if something like that sounds good, too good to be true, it probably is, and you should avoid any time giving information over the phone or over a computer that's not a secure link or a company that you've dealt with in the past. Uh, so you definitely know your, not your name, your social security number, uh, bank routing numbers, or even credit card numbers, or anything like that that could get copied, used against you down the road.